Okay, I think we're about ready to start. Hello and welcome back to LA Noir. This is Jeff. And we're gonna carry on with the case. I forget what the case number we're on is, what the case name is. But we're gonna carry on with it. There is a brutal murder as usual. And last week time we led it we had to go to a boarding house and investigate that and question the owner. So let's see where it puts us back. Okay, it's put us back here. That's it. I think it's put us back to the beginning of this section, so I've got to investigate again, but that's okay. Be good for a quick recap. Wait just a moment! I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara LaPente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there Yes, there is. I'm afraid She's so, ma'am. <laughs> Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. Thank you very much. It's yeah, walking wife. into walls here. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she mm -hmm. was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Okay, we are live. Uh, but better get upstairs and search the room. Sorry, I'm not paying attention, really. <laughs> Look at that. Someone's turned yeah, the place let's over. Search around for stuff. Got an address. Let's read this letter. Yeah, the best. Yeah, fair. The people's correspondence. I'm writing for me that petition is queued. Next every court day. Schedule. Okay. Divorce case. Looks like a divorce case. Okay, we have an address. Yep, divorce case. Let's go this way. Ooh, picture. Okay. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Wedding photo there be useful. What have we got over here? Ooh. Broken window. A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, <laughs> Phelps. We do. And there's the iron thingy. So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. I wonder where it was taken from. Probably a fence downstairs or something. Uh, let's go back in and talk to the lady. Where is the lady? The lady is here. There we are. We have yeah. some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. Excuse me? I'll do my best. Possible suspects. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him She was indeed. <laughs> if I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a man. Oh, murderer. Rusty. Are you being flippant, Rusty, Rusty, man? Rusty. No, ma'am. Uh, no reason to doubt her. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her. Very cruel. She was a good girl. Little on the religious side, but a good girl. 
Uh, movements of victim. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No. I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. <laughs> Don't buy that. Yay! A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people <laughs> who live nosy under the old roof. Hack. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado okay. Bar. It's a Latino <laughs> place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Evidence of break-in. You've had a break-in? Yes. No. It that is can't true. Be true. You're being <laughs> with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy <laughs> the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Okay, breakdown of marriage. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. No. No, 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 no. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Well, let's give you the bracelet. Charm bracelet photograph. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. <laughs> that thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Yay, four for four. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. We'll work on that. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we can check out the Eldorado. I want to check out the Eldorado bar, if I'm honest. Let's get the location up. Yeah, Eldorado bar. Downtown bar and grin. Grin? Downtown bar and grill. Oh boy. It involves reversing. This could be interesting. A nosy old hag? Ah! And I thought I was oh. coming on strong with the XY's line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth? You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No. Ah, sorry. <laughs> if we survive this, it's going to be a miracle. No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts okay, mouthing off. Go left this here. leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. The sad story. Watch where you're driving, you maniac! Very tight roads. Why don't you want to see Let's a connection go. here? Because there are perfectly good real life suspects for every one of these murders. Let's go this go way. Looking for the monster under the bed. There it is. I bet we get. A... I think there's anything to the divorce. Not too soon. I've been through three of those. No big deal. After a while, you just numb yourself to the experience. <laughs> but Angel, Character he's a young Latino man. He would hurt his son. Easy. Yeah. We made it. Mostly in one piece. What can I get Hi guys. you? guys. LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. But what did she do? She was murdered last night. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know why Cole just drops on people. regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, 
She left the letter. Oh, on really? Oh, I'm thank sure. you very much, sir. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Ooh, let's read this. This looks interesting. Ticket? No, Los Angeles is... Ah, here we go. Yeah, divorce, divorce papers. Did you open them? No that matches up. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Okay. Yeah, you can have those back, I think. Missing jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Uh, you would know. If she's making such a big fuss, you would know about it. Nothing here, particularly, but I'm going to bad cop you. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD <laughs> will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Uh, movement's a victim. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. I believe him. Yay! She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Two for two. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? I will do that. We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, <laughs> Mr. Aguilar? A broad okay. nine. I have wide feet. Guess it's not you, then. Don't suppose... You're going to see your married man again? Are we done here? Or do we need to do anything else? I'm sorry, wrong one. Uh, no, we've still got something here to do. Say, honey, what time do you get off waiting tables? No. An Englishman, an Irishman, and a Scotsman walk into a bar. Bartender looks up. Anybody else? I think he's a bit of a gangster. We treat him that. There's a phone here. Out of order. Yeah, that's what the guy said. Well, we're still here, I guess. That means that we're... Is there anything behind it? Hello there. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal. Just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. Fine. Thanks. Hmm, okay. Is it worth going to the fruit market? Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. A waitress! Can I have another spoon? I think there's something else I need to discover here. Refill my coffee next time, honey. Let's go Let's go across the road to the fruit market. Could you cover my shift on Wednesday? I have I think that's day. the fruit market, yeah. Fruit market across the street. Hmm, not seeing it. Yeah, let's go back in. Is there anything towards the back here I can use? What the heck was that? That was me. Nope, 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 nope. 
You ought to meet Joe's buddy. He's nice. Nope. Okay, let's go shake down the other guy. Yeah, Rusty's in the car ready to go. Just picked fruit market. I'm going to try the husband first, actually. How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your mm -hmm. gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. Wait, 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 where do you are? Ooh, just made that. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> and, oh, it's up there, that's easy enough. Where are you going? Oh, looks like we've got to turn into this close a bit. There we are. We made it. We made it. Let's see where we live. Alvarado is in apartment 304. There's a phone there. That might be useful. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. That's very interesting. There's a fire escape there. Right, let's see some numbers. 201. Let's keep going. Here we go. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our phone <laughs> by surprise. Boom. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker. You're under Who's arrest. This dude? <laughs> I got a hundred pounds of the wife now. Now look, I don't want no trouble, see? What's the controls? I got nothing to say to you. Come quietly, Mr. Maldonado. There we go. Come at me. He's down. And he's down. I forgot the controls for boxing. Haha. <laughs> Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. Yes, sir. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup. <laughs> Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Awesome. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no. Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, goddammit! You think I'd kill my own wife? 